Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Charlotte. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I make a lot of videos about beauty and fragrance, mostly fragrance. Today I want to share with you my 10 best fragrance discoveries of the year. And you guys, this was such a hard list to make. I'm even sitting here, I've been literally sitting here the past 10 minutes pondering like, do I really want those to be it? Are those the fragrances? Some of them are favorites. Some of them are not necessarily my absolute favorite, but these are the ones that I guess just marked me. I will be leaving out a lot of other fragrances that I discovered this year that I loved that maybe I even wore more than I wore these, but these are the ones that really stood out to me and either left a strong impression on me, changed my preferences. Maybe they inspired me to try a different scent profile. Yeah, these are those fragrances. Please let me know down below what your favorite discovery or best discoveries were this year. I would love to know. So before we get into this, if you like this video, if you like the concept, if you enjoy my videos in general, don't forget to subscribe or ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have a couple of highly requested videos coming up, an almond perfume video coming up, and I also have a beast mode or long lasting fragrances in my collection video coming up. Those are in the works. Let's get into it. So to start things off, my first fragrance is going to have to be Al Haram. Al Haram Al or Al Haramain Amber Oud Rouge. This is known as a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 640, but the specifically the Extra de Parfum. I have not reached for this for some quite some time, but that is because I went through it at such a fast rate at the beginning of the year and this is a fragrance that I could wear every single day, all day. Uh, if I only had one fragrance, this could definitely be a contender for a signature scent. I just absolutely love this fragrance, and so I have no doubt that I would also love Baccarat Rouge Extrait de Parfum. Obviously, I would love to have that fragrance. It is quite expensive. Uh, I'm not there yet. This is absolutely intoxicating. This is sweet. This is musky. This is woody. This is that Baccarat Rouge DNA, but the Extrait de Parfum. This is completely unisex in the most awesome way where it really doesn't lean feminine or masculine, but it's just completely sexy and intoxicating on whoever wears this fragrance. I'm just absolutely in love with this fragrance, you guys. You already know I have, I mean, I've quit talking about it lately, I think, but I've already made a lot of videos where I talk about this fragrance to death. I love this and yes, if I had the original Baccarat Rouge Extra de Parfum, maybe that would be here, but that is not what I have in my collection right now. This is amazing though. I don't feel like I'm missing out. This just makes me want to get the original, but this is absolutely the, the, there's nothing lacking in this. This is absolutely phenomenal in terms of scent, projection, sillage, longevity, everything. This is top notch. I absolutely love this fragrance. Next up, we have by Lancôme, and this is La Nuit Trésor Musc Diamant. This is a fragrance that I took a risk on. I'm so glad I did, you guys, because this is the fragrance that made me realize that I really do love musk. This is a very, very musk dominant scent, but it also has a beautiful almond in there as well. This definitely still has the La Nuit Trésor uh, DNA in there. It has the rose, the jammy rose in the background, but that musk just overtakes the whole fragrance and makes it into this very soft, fuzzy, very cozy, comforting, very feminine scent. This is just one of my favorites. Uh, easy reaches and I don't know. I really really love this fragrance. I think it's very underrated I do think it might be discontinued I'm pretty sure it is discontinued. I'm not sure I'm gonna check but this is the fragrance that made me realize I needed more musk <laughs> in my life that I love musk I love a pretty feminine musk like this. Uh, this is so beautiful I love it so much and like I said, I think this is quite underrated especially in the line This is actually one of my favorites in the line. La Nuit Trésor Musk Diamant. Next up we have another fragrance that has a beautiful almond in there and this is by Killian Rolling in Love. I have talked about this one quite a lot lately you guys. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. Only discovered it in the latter part of this year. This is a powdery floral vanilla almond fragrance. So beautiful. Personally, this is very unique in my collection. I can't compare it to anything else. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Like I would love to bathe in this. Like I wish, I wish they made a hundred mils of this fragrance. Puny 50 mils just for a fragrance that you just want to bathe in all the time. That could just be an easy reach. That's signature scent worthy. 50 mls just feels like not enough for those kinds of fragrances. And this is that kind of fragrance for me. 
absolutely beautiful. I'm so in love with this fragrance. It's intoxicating, it's feminine, it's gourmand, but it's still very floral and vanilla and powdery. Love it. Rolling in Love by Killian. Next up we have by Atelier des Arts and this is Lune Féline. This was not a blind buy. I had a sample of it and uh, yeah, this is just one of the best spicy vanillas out there, if not the best depending on your preferences. This is one of the best in my opinion. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is just a beautiful warm spicy cardamom heavy vanilla. Very balsamic and ambery as well. Very spicy, heavy on the cardamom, so if you don't like too much spice, that might be too much for you. But I also think that's what makes this such a powerhouse of a fragrance. This is a strong fragrance. This is good quality. This is, I've said it before, it reminds me of a fragrance that could be vintage, not because it smells dated or passe or, or old fashioned in any way, but just because it's that potent and it really feels like the kind of fragrance from the 80s or 90s, you know, that would really like stay with you and feels very dense and rich. That's this beautiful fragrance. If you love a warm, spicy, ambery vanilla, you need to check this out. Lune Filine by Atelier des Arts. One of my favorite discoveries of the year. Next up we have by Mugler and this is Alien Fusion. You guys, this is one of the most beautiful, sensual, sexy tuberose fragrances that I've smelled. It is a little bit next to Rouge Malakite, which I do not have, but is definitely on the wish list. Next to that one, this is one of the best sensual, sexy, spicy tuberose fragrances out there. It has some ginger and cinnamon in there. They are not prominent. They are just beautifully blended into this creamy tuberose, super alluring, a little bit ambery, powdery, sweet, very sexy, just such an easy reach. Again, this is a fragrance that there's not that much of a dent in it, but it's one of those fragrances that I'm scared Again, let me know in the comments down below if you're like this, but for fragrances that I'm like, okay, I need this forever in my life. I like purposefully do not reach for them because I'm afraid of that line going down. <laughs> I'm not a backup person, you know, so it just seems excessive to me, especially with a large collection to get backups. This is potentially backup worthy though for me, potentially, which says a lot. There's not many fragrances like that. This is her by Zadig and Voltaire, also is potentially worthy of that, as is this one, as is you guys. Also this one, if it's discontinued, and I say that because Mugler loves discontinuing its flankers, right? So but this is one of the best alien flankers in my opinion. I'm so glad that I got this and this is one of the best discoveries of the year for me. Next up, also a little bit of an older discovery from this year, but one of the best. This is The Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. This is so beautiful. Actually, I've smelled this side, that, side by side with Rouge Malakite and I did find them actually to be a little bit similar. This is such a beautiful creamy white floral with a juicy crisp green apple in the opening and some neroli. I just absolutely love this. This is creamy, this is floral, super feminine, super sexy, intoxicating, huge compliment getter, like huge. Um, easy love. Everything about this is a love, including the price as well too. Like I love this as much as I love my best niche scents. You know what I mean? Intoxicating. My mouth is watering. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is absolutely one of the best discoveries of the year for me. Next up we have by Guerlain and this is Mont Guerlain Intense. You guys know I love Mont Guerlain, the original. The next one I got was Mont Guerlain Intense and this to me is absolutely beautiful. It has a little bit of a slightly medicinal opening with the lavender. It gets very sweet and balsamic, very vanilla dominant. Absolutely lovely. Definitely has that Guerlain DNA in there, which is just very classic and elegant to me. Guerlain fragrances. Guerlain is one of my favorite houses. And for a little while, I actually thought this was my absolute favorite out of this and the regular Mont Guerlain. I've since come to really appreciate both of them for different reasons. I really do prefer this one in the colder weather, but I really appreciate that Mont Guerlain is something that I reach for year round. This one though, the Intense, is absolutely an amazing fragrance, especially for the winter time, specifically for this time of year. I'm re reaching for it quite a bit. 
and if you are a vanilla lover this might be your preferred one out of the two the original or the intense the intense one is absolutely beautiful so delicious without being gourmand i say delicious but not necessarily very gourmand still very aromatic but so good oh my goodness this is such a beautiful fragrance mon guerlain intense next up this is another fragrance that i kind of held off of for a little while and it's made the rounds in the community and i took my time with it finally got it and you guys i think this is one of my favorites by narciso rodriguez and this is narciso poudre my first impression of this fragrance was that it was too soapy to me but i've come to really 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 love this fragrance for its beautiful powdery soapiness for its incredibly comforting and alluring feminine quality this is musky this is powdery this is floral clean very feminine very cozy i've said it before but this feels very gentle it feels like it exudes love and generosity <laughs> if a fragrance can exude that this one does this is narciso Poudre. Next up, another Narciso Rodriguez fragrance, and this is Pure Musk for her. I picked this up once I realized that I loved musk from Muscatiama. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for the Pure Musk. And I just love this fragrance because to me, this is an incredibly natural smelling musk. It smells very feminine. There are some florals in it. It has some cashmere in there too, which adds a sort of creamy quality, very velvety sort of quality to the musk. But the musk is undeniable. It's slightly animalic in that muskiness, but it smells so good. I think that's what smells natural about it, the slightly animalic tinge to it. So for example, like the musk or the musk in Muscatiama is a very clean musk the pure musk one is a little bit an animalic but in a very sexy sensual sort of way very feminine this is one of my favorite layering fragrances and it's interesting though because actually it has very mixed reviews on this but i actually find this to be quite powerful i find this very long lasting i find this very strong and i have read reviews where people say that like it's very weak which i find confusing because this is actually, I find it quite strong. However, I do wonder if you could go anosmic to the musk in here. I don't, but if you do, maybe that's why it doesn't smell very long or like maybe that's why people have complaints about that because that musk if i didn't smell it i wouldn't smell much like it's very it's very very present though to me and it feels very dense it's a very strong sensual musk i just love it and i really like to uh layer this specifically with any kind of like scent that's a little bit too linear or that's a little bit too like vanilla to me or something and i want to add a little bit of something a little bit of a good kind of dirtiness pure musk by narciso rodriguez is a love for me and one of the best discoveries of the year for me and then next up we have by memo paris and this is marfa this is a fragrance that made me love tuberose in a different and new way this to me is a very very, very fresh, lush, green tuberose that still feels very dense and creamy at the same time. This is a fragrance that feels like going out on an adventure for me and that could also just partly be because Mimo Paris has a knack for making these scents. I only have two by them but both of them are very epic to me. I have Sintra as well which I think is quite epic as well and takes you on a journey. Very multi-tiered, multi-layered, this has a beautiful agave note, which I don't know necessarily what that would smell like, but I feel like that is what's adding that very sweet scent in here. This also has a beautiful dose of ylang ylang in there. I just love that tuberose ylang ylang agave mixture. Really, really beautiful. Very sensual, but not necessarily sexy. It feels a little bit like, like I feel like I would like to wear this when I was going on an outside, like outdoor adventure or something. That's what it evokes for me. I just think this is beautiful absolutely gorgeous definitely by far one of the best tuberose fragrances in my collection and such a pleasure to discover this year absolutely amazing marfa by memo paris so there you go that was a quick i hope <laughs> kind of bang 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 a little bit quick this was so hard for me to do you guys and here i am looking at my other fragrances and i'm like did i betray you i think i betrayed you you should be in here too what's going on here but no these are the ones that had to be in there and i wanted to do a top 10 these are the ones that made the cut hmm these are the ones these are the ones i hope you enjoyed that you guys thank you so much for watching please let me know what your best discoveries have been this year i would love to know if you haven't already done so don't forget to like before leaving to let me know you enjoyed this video and you can also subscribe ring the notification bell if you would like to see some more videos from me in the future until we see each other again thank you so much for being here with me today take care of yourself i'll see you very soon bye